Hello, my name is Irina Muzu and I'm a Women's and Ethnic Studies major. I recently wrote a poem for the Matrix Center newsletter and the events that inspired this poem were a culmination of multiple events that have happened concerning the Black Lives Matter movement. The death of George Floyd caused more and more people to realize what was happening in the United States in terms of police violence towards black people. And during this time, I began to receive a lot of messages um, from many different people asking me how I was feeling, what they could do to help me. They're also asking me to educate them on certain topics and it became so overwhelming. And it looked like not only do black people have to die, but then we also have to explain our deaths to other people when they could also use this time to educate themselves, to read books for themselves, to go online and find black YouTubers, black columnists, and to learn from them. And in turn, those people would get monetary benefits. Black work and sharing black trauma should not come for free. So when I heard of the opportunity to write something for the newsletter, um, I had a lot of feelings inside. I didn't really know where to go with it. So I asked my friend Kaylin Harden to be a co-writer on it with me. And we just named it like how do you feel for the beginning and just wrote so much of our honest and true emotions and what was going on and our true emotions on the situations and the wish that we had. Kaylin and I were just honest on a piece of paper and then we just and then we edited each part taking out the most important just making it a little bit more poetic um, in order to give it to the newsletter. The thing that inspired me to become an advocate for West um, particularly I'm a student ambassador for West, is how much I love the program. I wasn't sure coming into college once I first started with my first majors how I was feeling with it. I never felt like I was in the right place. I felt like the problems I had as a black student weren't necessarily being addressed in classes. I just felt like I was out of place until I took a West class and then I realized that, oh, this is where I belong. This is where I I need to be and then I switched my major to West because I was so inspired by the professors and the, and the department as a whole. So when I heard the opportunity to become the student ambassador for West, I just loved the department and the program so much that I wanted to be part of it, that I wanted to be able to participate in a space that was different than a student. So that's what inspired me to come, become a West ambassador and I absolutely love it and I've just been having a lot of fun since then. I have a lot of hopes for the future. Many of them revolve around marginalized people finding justice. I shouldn't say finding, more like finally receiving the, the justice that is deserved. Because it is not marginalized people's job to, to fix the issues that they didn't make. But we are still doing it anyway because our lives depend on it. So my hope for the future is that these actions are sustainable, the protests are sustainable, that we don't just stop in a month um, and then we forget that it happened. I hope that we as a country can truly come to terms with what we've done and what we've continued to do to particularly black people. And I hope that I will be able to be part of that in many different capacities as a community member, in a professional capacity, and as just a person and an artist. I'm Xander and I'm a student at UCCS. As an INDS major, I have the privilege to study how marginalized bodies are seen and treated in society, as well as learn how they are able to resist the colonial, racist, ableist, queerphobic, capitalistic patriarchy that has laid the foundation for everything in our society today. Late last month, I was invited to participate as a panelist for a live stream hosted by the Matrix Center called Listen to Youth Voices, a dialogue on race and oppression. I accepted to speak for a variety of reasons, one largely being how I felt as a queer and disabled person during these protests in Pride Month. Um, at the time, I had recently written a piece for the Matrix Center newsletter, and I was feeling really frustrated with seeing some posts from the LGBTQIA community 
um, wanting to ignore or pause Black Lives Matter because they felt like it was interfering with pride and there's enough of a concern with COVID interfering with pride anyway. And I was seeing people completely ignore bodies like Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera that brought pride to our community in the first place. Um, and I felt like there was a growing need to shed light on the bodies that um, are exposed to greater rates of violence solely for their existence and need to focus on bodies that um, are unable to attend Pride um, in years prior to this one. Um, and I was trying to bring these kinds of experiences to the audience from Dazzle Stage. I really hope that what we are doing now is the first step that I see in my lifetime to radical reform of the systems in this country that inform and control everything. I want to see change not just to our police departments, but also to the media that we consume, the bodies that hold our offices, the way history is taught to our nation. I hope that one day we can heal not just what we have done and continue to do to Black bodies in this country, but also what we have done and continue to do to First Nation peoples and to people who occupy places like Mexico and Puerto Rico. I hope that this is just the start to us truly healing the damage and injustice and the start to truly reflecting our history and changing our present to the better.